Hi, Amanda from Trady Hub here, and today I'm going to be taking you through a full walkthrough of the Lead Connector app. The Lead Connector app is the mobile version of Trady Hub. So while they're named differently, they work together to provide a seamless experience so you can manage your leads and sales on the go. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your app, the first screen that you see is going to be your notifications. So if you notice this little bell on the bottom here, that is your notifications section. Um, you will see any messages that you need to reply to as well as any system notifications. So we can see here that there's a message to reply to. We can reply directly out of this space. We can see that it is now red. And we can also see that there are other notifications here, such as a form submission, a general notification, um, a missed call, and any other things that you might have set up to notify you of within your account. So depending on what is set up, it will take you to different sections of the app. So it might take you to the opportunity or the conversation. Um, more on those spaces later. From the space as well, we can click the phone button on the bottom right and that will let us use the Lead Connector app just like a phone. We can also select a contact to call and see our call history. Going back, if you would like to filter by notification type, there's that option here. So you can see conversations, tax, uh, appointments, or other things. Uh, you can also look at all or if you just wanted to filter by unread only that's a really great way to see what is needing action when you want to clear all of your notifications you just click the bell on the top right hand corner um, and then you're good to go for the day now we're going to talk about the contacts space of the lead connector app so if we're looking at the bottom menu those little people icon here you'll see if you've uploaded your database, um, all of your past customers and leads, as well as any new leads that come into the system. So that could be through a form submission, social media, if you have that integrated, any incoming calls, if they're calling through to the lead connector number that you've secured. Um, and so your newest customers or leads are going to be at the very top. If I click onto a contact record here, we'll click onto Christine Jones and that will show you a brief overview of the contact record. So email, phone, um, if they're involved in any current workflows or opportunities and any additional info which may exist as um, custom fields that you have set up to get more information about that contact. Throughout the system, you'll see notes, tasks, assign appointments and transactions throughout. Um, that's really important for the CRM feature because it allows you to continually add to that contact record and make notes about them or add tasks so that you aren't missing any sort of follow-ups or lost opportunities um, by forgetting about things. So I'll just go to show you what it looks like to add a note. So clicking onto the plus sign on the bottom right here, we'll add note and save that to the record. So that could be something like left a message, try again tomorrow. Tasks, I'll add a task, so we'll say follow up, whatever you'd like to say there. Give yourself a date to follow up, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Assign it to myself, and then we'll save. So that'll give me a reminder on the day, and I'll also get reminders if I have not completed this task. Uh, so it makes sure that you're not missing any opportunities here. We can see any appointments that have been scheduled in the past or are upcoming for this particular contact. If you'd like to book an appointment for there from here, you can select which calendar you would like to use and book that appointment. We can now see that she has a call out scheduled for Wednesday the 28th. Any transactions that have happened within the account, you'll also be able to see here. So this is if you're using the payments feature of Lead Connector. If you've integrated Stripe, PayPal, or another payment processor, here's where you can see transactions in another system. Um, here's where you would go to use the point of sale feature, which we are going to touch on in just a minute. Moving on to the appointments section of the Lead Connector app, we can see here on the top left, this is my calendar. So I have, I can view my calendar from here. Anything that I have with a, a linked calendar outside of here, that could be Outlook or Gmail. I can also go to just myself to see what appointments people have with me for a particular date or overall. 
or I can go to just a particular calendar and see uh, what we have booked there. So we can see that we have in the callout calendar somebody booked uh, and we had somebody booked in that calendar yesterday. As you saw in the contact record, you can do the same thing with the plus sign and schedule an appointment or else block off time. So schedule appointment, you'd select your contact. You would select what you would like to look out for. So in this case, we're going to do a work block for a half day and it's going to give us what options are available for that. And then you can select your day. Now, those are things that you'll be setting up in the desktop version of Trady Hub. Um, and those are if you'd like to be using the scheduling and appointment features of the app. I'll just show you here that we can block off time. So if this is for personal time, you don't want people to book into your calendar if you have a client facing link. Um, we'll just add that in there. Event, don't need description. And then we'll just add in our time. And save. So that's blocked off time. So that can't be blocked off in the calendar. All right, that is your crash course on using the appointments section of Trady Hub. On to the next thing. So if we click on the little dollar symbol in the middle of the bottom menu, that's going to take us to the point of sale system. So you can take payment through your phone if it's capable of tap to pay. You can also make note of payments if they're cash or if they're paying you by credit card, etc. cetera. Uh, there's a couple options here. So you can either just create an amount as a once of, you can add a customer to invoice for that one. And we can choose our way that they're paying. So maybe in this case, they're paying cash. Yeah, so we're just going to save that. That person will then get an invoice uh, to say thanks for their payment, as well as an SMS. You'll get a notification to say that you're paid. Um, another thing that we can do here is have a catalog. So if you'd like to have set fees, you're not having to um, add in different amounts every time, you can have your products there. So here we have a call out fee. We're going to add that one in, review the item, same thing. So add your customer, uh, choose payment instrument. Um, I'll show you again that screen. So at the top here, it does say tap to pay on iPhone. Since I don't have a Stripe account integrated here, it's not going to let me, but essentially you can use your phone to get paid a lot quicker and invoice on the spot. So really awesome that we have this functionality and I hope that you can make use of it. The next space that I'm going to show you is the conversation space. So this is where you're going to be spending a lot of your time just because you're going to be wanting to converse with your leads and customers. And here is a centralized place to do that. So by integrating your social media accounts, uh, syncing your email, having your form submissions come in here, if you're utilizing the phone system, then you're going to be getting inbound calls into here as well, right? So off the back of that, you can SMS. Uh, so there's a lot that we can do from here, whether it's yourself or if you have team members wanting to manage the inbox, it means that you don't have to be passing a phone around. They can just have uh, a user profile in your Trade Hub account and you can have multiple people managing the inbox as well as seeing the entire history of the conversations, which I'll show you in just a moment. So uh, we can see here that we adjust um, got a payment from Bent and we can see that we've received a payment from them and they've actually just received an invoice via email. So we can see the full history of interactions that they've had with our system from here. Um, if we'd like to send them an email, we can do that. We can go, go compose email. Um, if I go to another contact record that has a few more options just based on the data that we have. Bent didn't have a phone number, but this contact does. So uh, this was a Facebook message. So we can reply via Facebook. I can also reply via SMS. It won't work because I don't have a phone number in the system, but that's how you would SMS and email like you just saw. Um, I'd like to note as well that with um, SMS and email, actually any, any conversation here, you do have the option to have templates. So um, in addition to be able to send, you know, photos and videos, we can add snippets, which are templates of things that you might be sending quite frequently. So this removes room for error if you have other people interacting with your database. Um, and it also saves you time so you're not having to um, type out the same thing over and over and over. So this is something we can help you set up. 
Um, so that's going to populate then with the name and our account. Um, and so based on that, you're going to be able to see all the interactions with this particular contact. Um, if we look at the top right, there is the phone option. So if I have a phone connected, I can call out of this account. Um, marking it as unread happened very quickly there, and that was by pressing the envelope. By clicking the three dots, I have a few other options that I can take with this contact while I'm in this space. Um, opportunity creating, scheduling appointments, or sending a review request. Um, I'll get to the reviews later but it's um, a really awesome feature of the system. If you would like to filter through your messages, you can either also filter by direction type or message type. Um, if you'd only like to see unread, which are the most obvious things that you'll be needing to action, you can also do that by adjusting your settings just at the top there. If you would like to send a new email or a new SMS as well and start a new conversation by clicking the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner, that's going to give you that option. So select new SMS, select your contact, and then you can type your message and that will start the conversation with them. The next section of the app that we're going to talk about is the drop down menu on the top left hand side. So expanding this menu, we're going to see a whole lot of other things. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them today. I'm just going to talk about the key ones that you might be using day to day. First, we're going to start with opportunities. So opportunities is your sales pipeline. Uh, here you'll be able to view any uh, new leads that have come into the system and action them from here as well. So we can see here that in our inbound lead stage, these are people that have come in maybe from web form submissions, web chat, Facebook, etc. Uh, we're going to want to action those and track where they are in our sales process. So we can see here that there's a phone and a chat bubble available. Um, so if we have a phone connected, we can call out of the account. If we go to the chat bubble, we can converse with this lead straight from that space. If we'd like to move this lead after that conversation through our pipeline, we can click on the arrows and that's going to give us the option to move them to another stage. So maybe I've contacted that person, they need a follow up, uh, they've moved to day one, which means that I'm going to follow them up on a different day. If I would like to add to this contact record and make a note of what's happened, you know, I'm going to click on Eid. Uh, we can add a dollar value, so we have a conversation with them and say, okay, you know, this is going to be the approximate value of the lead. We can add it in here. And that is not client facing, but that's just for your own records to know, you know what is the value of your pipeline. Um, we're going to save that. And if we'd like to add anything else to that contact record, we can click directly on the name there. So I'll click on the contact card at the very top and that will take me to their profile. So I might need to make a note to say, you know, not yet ready and maybe set myself a task, you know, follow, follow up, Xmas needs to speak to partner, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and that will set a task for later. So maybe this contact might not be ready. We'll put them in the not yet ready stage and then save, you know, so that's how you can manage your pipeline on the go. This is one of the main areas that I would recommend working in day to day in the lead connector app, um, the conversations to manage your, uh, leads and sales, but then this is just to manage your sales. Okay. Moving on, we are going to be looking at tasks. So skipping a few of the other things there, going down to tasks. So we can see tasks that are pending. So these are things that need doing. Uh, there's no point in really looking at completed ones unless you'd like to review it, but you know, we want to see the things that need our, our attention. So if we were to click on follow up to at the very top here, uh, we can review it and we can mark it as complete when it's done. And then it disappears from our task list. If you'd like to add tasks, you can do it from this space as well. All right, and save. So you don't necessarily have to have a contact attached to the task. So if you wanted something like, you know, renew car red Joe or pay for insurance, you know, you can have tasks here to remind you uh, when to do these things. All right, I'm going to skip ahead down to documents and contracts. So if you are a company that sends out proposals or quotes, the documents and contracts area of Tradey Hub can be very valuable to you. Um, this is something that you would set up 
on the desktop. So logging into the CRM and setting up your proposal templates. But once they're ready to go, um, you can select your template and use that one. You can add your customers or say you'd like to send through a, you know, terms of work. Um, you might have your services outlined on there. And then you'll see here that we can add maybe like a deposit. So if you want to add a deposit amount, uh, that custom item will show up here. So we'll send that. It's hard to imagine if you don't actually see the template, but it'll take me through to what it looks like just now. So here we have, you know, the document, the title, the title I actually made to be their address, but this contact doesn't have their address in the system, so you won't see it. Uh, scope, breakdown of services, and we can see here that uh, this would be their deposit amount. So if they decide to go through and sign this, there's signature fields here, it will then convert this into an invoice, um, and that will be outstanding for that particular customer. So I'm gonna send it through an email. They'll receive that in an email saying, oh, hello, this is your proposal from said company, click here to view your proposal, give them the option to sign and accept it. So then if we go here, we're gonna see which ones have been sent and it will give you updates on the status of those, whether they've signed, whether it's all completed and all that. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna show you in this particular section is reputation. So going to reputation, you can see review requests that you've sent. If you are tracking how many review requests you're sending, who you've sent them to, if you'd like to resend them and ask that person again, um, as well as how many reviews you've received, your rating, and your sentiment. Now, um, from here, you can send a new review request. So this will be set up in your account to be able to send as an SMS. So selecting the contact and sending the review request by SMS. You can also select the contact and send the review request by email. So I'll go through and send that. And then we can now see that there is another review request that we've been sent. Um, there are other places that you can send review requests from. You don't have to do it directly from this area, but if you happen to be reviewing, you know, where you're at in terms of all of this, uh, that's what it would look like. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is the lightning bolt. So if we look at the bottom right hand corner here, we'll see the lightning bolt. And here's where you can take some quick actions, you know, send an email, add in a contact. So if someone refers you a contact and you want to add them into the system, uh, here's where you can do that. Booking appointments on the go um, and requesting reviews. So I'll do the re review request again. So clicking on that one click, we're going to send it via email. We'll select our contact and send. So it's super easy to do that, you know, after your job is closed, you want to wrap that up and get that review. That's where you can do that from. I'll expand that menu again, just to show you what options are available. So uh, directly opening up into the make a call area. So opening up the dialer, which would look proper if we had a phone connected and then also sending SMS uh, real quick out of this area. So. so that is it for our walkthrough of the Lead Connector app today. Uh, I hope that you found it helpful in navigating through the various areas of the app. Um, it will obviously vary based on what you're using and what is relevant for your business. But I think across the board, the areas that we'll spend most of our time in are the notifications, when you first open up the app to see what needs doing, the conversation space, so managing those conversations and you know transactions through email, SMS, and calls, and then also the opportunities. So um, managing your leads, so seeing, okay, there's a new lead in there, this needs actioning, call, email, SMS from here, and then updating the stage from there. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions around the app. We'd love to help you get started and make the most of the Trady Hub system. Thank you.